Hi, my name is Saxon from Wild Oak Trail. We got our EcoFlow Pro here. I didn't bring down any batteries. Uh, I came down to our basement. We're gonna plug in a deep freeze. I've already unplugged it, so we will see what the wattage is when it first starts. And then we're also going to go and show you what we can do with the shop vac, as this can be in a job site, can be uh, unfortunately an emergency, God forbid you've got a power outage and your sump pump is failing and you need to get some water out of there. Well, A, you can plug in your sump pit and B, you can suck up the water as well. So let's start off with uh, the fridge, or I should say uh, the deep freeze. This is a, an old non-energy efficient one. It's a Kenmore. Um, we inherited it, I wanna say five to six years ago and it's still going strong. So it will use a lot of uh, energy though. So we're gonna turn this on. You can see we're at hundred percent. What we need to do is turn on the inverter for these 110 plugs. You don't need one of these. I just needed a bit of an extension cord so that I could show you guys. So now we're plugging it in. Don't think you guys can hear that it's on, but you're gonna see that the output is only 150, 160 watts. Now if we, I'm gonna open this up, hopefully we can get the compressor to turn on because it is rated as 1500 watts. But as you can see, freezers don't use 150 watts the entire time. Uh, they only use it when the compressor's on. So if we were to go, we have 3600 watts in this battery. And if it only used 154 watts, that would last us 23 hours just on one charge. This thing can almost pay for itself. As you know, um, there's a lot of people that have a ton of food in here. Meat is very expensive. And during a 24 hour uh, power outage, if you had no power powering your, um, your deep freeze, that would all thaw and you'd either be cooking for the next two days or unfortunately, some of it would have to be thrown out. So with an investment like that, these things really do pay for themselves. The really nice thing is we are not, uh, we are still inside. Uh, with a gas generator, we couldn't do that. It's quiet, um, nobody knows that this is what we're doing. So if you don't want your neighbors to know that you still have power, that's what's great about these solar generators. Uh, we're still, I've got this wide open and the compressor is not kicking on. So as you can see, we'll, we'll conclude that we'll use an average of roughly uh, 150 uh, watts out. So this would last for 24 hours just on its own. I know I pulled out my calculator and did the math, but what's cool is you can actually see it right here as well. It's saying 22 hours is how long it would last on, on this here. So uh, we know that it whacks and weans or it goes down and up. Uh, I was showing 160. So it will eventually go down to even lower. We're at 139. So as the internal temperature gets to the desire, it, it slowly shuts down. So what I'm going to do now is unplug this. And when we come back, I will have the, uh, the shop vac plugged in so that we can take a look at that. All right, so we're back. And uh, I've got the uh, shop vac. Don't mind the dust. You're gonna see here we're still at 100 even after we plugged in the fridge for uh, a little bit the reason why it's showing five days is just because we have the compressor on uh for or i should say the uh, the inverter is on for the outlets which we just turned off so we get 10 days and uh you can also turn that off and once it's off you can keep us um the battery st uh, stored and it will not lose a charge for up to a year. So you want to check this probably every six months to a year just to make sure it's topped up in case there was, God forbid, an emergency. But for now, let's turn it back on and we're going to see how much power is left uh, when we plug in our shop back. There we go. We're plugged in. <laughs> Four 
So this particular brand, uh, Mastervac, not sponsored by them, but if they'd like to, uh, we're open to it. You saw that it used uh, just under a thousand watts and it was gonna be good for three hours. So uh, if you had an expansion battery on there, that means that you have six hours and you can get up to two expansion batteries. So you'd have up to nine hours of nonstop uh, using a shop vac or some power tools, those kind of things. And uh, as time goes on, we'll be doing more videos like this. So I hope that you found this helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to visit us at wildoaktrail.com. We're happy to talk to you on the phone, by chat, and by email as well. So thank you, and uh, see you in the next video.